I recently bought the Panasonic DMP BD605 Blu-ray player from Costco. The purpose of this video is to test how long it takes to load a disc initially and also to test how long it takes to go to the main menu and start playing the disc. I would like to compare how these times compare between regular DVDs and Blu-ray discs. To do this test, here's my equipment. This is a DVD or Blu-ray player, the Panasonic DMP BD605. Over here is my monitor and this here will be my stopwatch. The discs that I will be using are from Walt Disney's Bedtime Stories. This Blu-ray disc set actually contains both the Blu-ray version as well as a DVD version of the same movie. So this way we can test the same movie in both DVD and Blu-ray formats. Let's go ahead and start by testing the DVD version first. I put a DVD in here. I'm about to select play on the remote and at the same time I will hit the start button on the stopwatch. And let's go. Alright, the tray has closed and it's it's now reading the DVD. It's starting to load the DVD. It starts to play the DVD. And at 31 seconds you can see that it just started to load and play the DVD. Now the next thing I want to do is to test how long it would take to go from from here to go to the top menu. I'm resetting the stopwatch. I'll have to wait until these screens are gone. Alright. Let me select main menu and see how long that will take. And here we go. Six seconds. All right. Very good. I'll now try to do the same test with the Blu ray disc. I'm ejecting the DVD. Let me grab the Blu-ray version of this disc. And let me get my stopwatch ready. Okay, I'm about ready to start it again. And here we go. We're now loading the Blu-ray disc. And it's still reading the disc. It's 
still reading. Now remember the DVD took about 31 seconds. We've already passed 31 seconds and it's still not there yet. Let's see how long this will take. Still reading. Ah, a screen popped up saying, depending on the capabilities of your player, you may experience delays of two to three minutes while the content of this disc loads. Well, I, ho I hope it's not two to three minutes. That's a long time. We have our heading. Here we go. They're one minute and 11 seconds. That's how long it took to come to this introductory screen. Let me go ahead and clear the stopwatch again. And I'll go ahead and test how long it would take to go to the top menu. Alright, let me wait until the screen goes away. That's when I can go to the top menu. Alright, let's go. I believe in the DVD it took only about 6 seconds or so to go to the top menu. We are now going into 20 seconds. And this is quite a long time. Network connection started. Interesting. Why would it need to connect to the network to play a Blu-ray disc? Ah, I see some dots appearing on the screen. One minute. There you go. One minute. About one minute and three seconds. Just to go from the preview screens to the top menu. I think that's a little bit a little bit too long for my taste. Anyways, this concludes my test of loading a Blu-ray disc versus loading a DVD as well as navigating from the preview screens to the top menu. Have a good day.